Good morning guys! It has been a while since I have done a How I Eat in a Day video so I thought I'd make one. You guys have really been asking for one so here we are. Remember you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I share tons of content there for you guys and I actually show a lot of like How I Eat in a Day videos on TikTok and Instagram in the short version so it's fun. Make sure you follow me there. So I want to let you guys know that I am doing this incredible weight loss vegan bundle. It has over 105 ebooks, e-courses, meal plans, workout plans, lectures, all sorts of incredible stuff and it's all focused on plant-based weight loss. Many of the plant-based doctors that I love and adore are also in this bundle. Dr. Joel Furman, Dr. John McDougall, Dr. Neil Barnard, they're all in this bundle. They all put in books or lectures into this bundle and it's worth $4,600 and it's for sale for $49. So you do not want to miss out. Even if you already have my weight loss guide and cookbook that is in this bundle, you do not want to miss out on this incredible deal. There's so many topics covered in this bundle. Topics like reversing diabetes, what to do about inflammation, binge eating, all sorts of good stuff. So make sure you check it out. I will link it below for you guys. The bundle ends after about a week or so, so make sure you don't miss out. All right, so I am going to make some breakfast. I'll show you guys how I throw that together. And then, yeah, I'll just take you along with me for the day. I'm gonna go to the gym and get some work done. And I'll show you how simple and tasty I keep my meals for the day. And if you're new to my channel, I have lost 70 pounds on a plant-based diet and been able to keep it off for many years. The meals I'm gonna show you today are the types of meals that I eat to lose 70 pounds and they're what I eat to keep the weight off. Make sure you poke around my channel, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm constantly sharing content there for you as well. So I like to begin each day with a nice big glass of lemon water. This has really helped my skin. It's helped me feel more hydrated. So I'll just squeeze a whole lemon into my mason jar of water. It gives me a nice little boost of vitamin C and I will drink that up. All right guys, so I am going to make some breakfast real quick and I thought it would be fun to pick a breakfast and a lunch from two of the cookbooks that are included in the bundle just to give you guys kind of a sampling of what's in there. So this morning I'm gonna make the Berry Crisp out of the Giroudi family cookbook and it's by Brittany Giroudi and it sounded really yummy so I'm gonna make that and show you guys how that comes out. So I start off every morning with some tea. This morning I'm gonna have this organic spearmint tea. It is one of my favorites. I'm just gonna pop that in there and add my hot water while my berry cobbler cooks. And here's the berry cobbler. It looks super yummy. It's nice and warm. I let it cool a little bit out of the oven, but I am excited to eat because I am hungry. And you guys always ask me if I take any supplements and I do. This is the vegan multi I take. I love it. It has only the things that you really need in it. None of those mega doses, no fillers, none of that stuff. So I just take three capsules every single day. It doesn't matter when you take them. It helped me to get rid of the hair loss issues I was really struggling with. So I will put it in the description box for you guys along with a discount code. All right, so we are on our way to the gym. We're gonna get our workout in. I like to lift probably three, ideally three times a week for about an hour. Sometimes it's only two times a week, but a for effort. Here's all the turkeys on our way out. <laughs> There's lots of wildlife here around the homestead. So it's either the gangs of turkeys or tons of deer. The deer usually come in in the evening so so in the gym i like to do large compound movements that use the major muscle groups in your body and it uses all your stabilizing smaller muscles as well i've really been enjoying this style of lifting
So now it's snack time. I'm gonna show you how to make this yummy sweet potato with black beans on it. It is so simple and so delicious. So I just take my heated up sweet potato. I usually cook these ahead of time for the week. Then you can just heat them up and use them when you're ready. So after I get the potato nice and scraped up, I add this black bean dip. You can use canned fat-free refried beans or any homemade. I just really love this and it's easy. So I just add a few spoonfuls of that to my sweet potato and then you know me I love cilantro cilantro goes on everything and then I'm gonna add some of my favorite hot sauce I love this habanero one you can use whatever hot sauce you like and that's it guys it is so good and it's a great after workout snack all right guys look at this it is so good and it's pretty to boot but this is like the best after workout snack so i usually have this and then i'll work for a few hours and then make lunch and you guys asked me a bunch if i like concentrate on protein more since i started weightlifting and if i take any protein powders and i don't i don't take any protein powders and i don't focus on trying to get tons and tons of protein i've had no trouble building muscle and being able to maintain it. I do eat beans or lentils of some sort every day because I love them and they're so good for you. And the longest lived people groups on the planet consume legumes every day. So yeah, sorry, I can't be more help as far as like protein powders go. I don't want to like take extra stuff if I don't have to and I'm not trying to like be a fitness model or something so I'm fine just with eating the way I always eat and, and adding strength training. It's so good guys. I love it. Mmm. You want some sweet potato? <laughs> I know. Come here. Come here. Oh it's your favorite. I know. I know. I know. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> so I've been sitting here for about an hour now. So I try to get up from my desk every hour and go take a 10, 15 minute walk. It helps me get 10,000 steps every day. I hate being indoors and I hate sitting. <laughs> I get like a caged lion. So I, I have to take walking breaks and I'd like to take like a half hour walk every day I take Nacho on his walks. I'm probably gonna go do that soon because it's starting to snow. So I wanna get that in before it gets too wet and muddy. But a big portion of my work day is the never ending email, meetings I have to take, not only for my own business, but I take a lot of meetings with other companies that wanna work with me. And a lot of time goes into creating content, but it's great. I super happy working from home and being able to you know manage my own schedule so i won't complain too much about the desk work especially since i can get up whenever i want and go take a walk outside so for lunch today i wanted to try the peanut soba noodles out of the eating whole cookbook by vegan michelle and she has some great recipes in her book i will link her channel below for you guys and again her book is in the bundle mm, it's good. <laughs> Oh, good. All right, so I am also, in addition to my noodle dish, going to eat this bowl of vegetable soup that I made the other day because I'm still hungry and I just need more volume. So I'm going to eat this and then I still need to take Nacho for his walk. I don't know if he's going to get to come because it is getting kind of wet and muddy out there. So we'll see. You're not going to be able to come, honey. It's too muddy. You're going to have to stay. I'm sorry. I had to leave Nacho at home because it is already too wet out. So I'm just gonna get my steps and I know Nacho's back at the house missing me, but he'll be okay. It's just kind of how it goes out here because there's nothing but dirt roads and trails. I mean, there's I have a mile of dirt road before I get to the paved road, so he would just be wet and cold and covered in mud. So <laughs> But I like to try and get 10,000 steps every day. Um, I didn't get this many when I was going through weight loss. I probably got like six to 7,000 during weight loss. But I just love staying active and healthy. So yeah, that's my goal is 10,000 steps a day. It's so pretty out. 
Look at those views. You can't really see the mountains right now because of the snow, but I just, I never get tired of living in Colorado. It is absolutely breathtaking all the time. Did you do okay while I went on my walk? Is this your toy? You wanna play? I'll play, you wanna play? Or are you upset? No, you wanna play, I know. Okay, well, wanna cuddle? Should we cuddle? Oh, yes. All right, so I'm back from my walk. It was chilly and beautiful, and I'm gonna show you guys the pantry. You guys asked to see the pantry a lot. Um, it is cute, I do like it, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, so here we come into the pantry, and my husband built me these beautiful shelves, and our ceilings are 10 foot tall, so I have to stand up on the counter to get up there. But I basically store like our bulk dry goods in here, and I also store all of my dishes and everything that I use to stage um, all of my food photography for my cookbooks and website. So it's fun. I enjoy, you know, stacking everything in here and making it look pretty. I have tons of greenery and baskets, all sorts of props, you know, anything I could ever need for any photography that I've got to do. And that's what's on this side. And then here we've just got, you know, some storage and one of my kids' darts <laughs> and a little fridge here where I mostly just put potatoes. And then yeah, it just goes back out into the kitchen. So then on this side, I've got some more shelves that I made. I distressed this wood and stained it. And my husband ordered the, this piping on Amazon and put this together for me so that I had a place to put my shelves and more staging stuff. <laughs> Everything I need for doing all of my food photography. And then these baskets just have like more supplies or picnic stuff and this is real. This isn't fake. So <laughs> these are real apples and I keep like onions and squashes in there. All right, it's dinner time, so I'm keeping it simple tonight. I'm gonna to use some of my steamed potatoes that I had already steamed up for the week. So I'm just gonna get these all nice and chopped up, and I basically am gonna make a bowl. Bowls are like the easiest way to make a meal. You get in lots of veggies, greens, and starches all at once. They're super filling and super satisfying. So after I get my potatoes chopped up, I'm gonna throw them into this container here. Season them with some garlic salt and some smoked paprika. So then I put the lid on and shake them like crazy and it helps season them all up and roughen them up which helps them crisp up even more in the air fryer. Now I'll cook these on 425 for about 15 to 20 minutes. So now for my bowl, I'm just gonna add a bunch of greens. Today it's going to be spinach. I'm gonna add some sliced tomato and some red onion. You can add as many vegetables as you want today. I'm feeling a little lazy, so simple it is. Now the potatoes are ready, so I'm gonna get those on top of my bowl. Okay, so here's where the absolute yumminess comes in. So I have a jar here of some hot cheese sauce that I just made. Now I'm gonna add this green chili sauce that I found at Costco. It doesn't have any oil in it and has really minimal ingredients. We love this stuff in our house, guys. So I'm just gonna add this to my cheese sauce and it's gonna transform it into this yummy roasted green chili cheese smother and it is so good, guys. So I'm just gonna pour that on top and then my dinner is ready to go. This is so good guys, like I can't even tell you, it's so good when you mix that green chili into my cheese sauce. Holy moly. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good, you guys gotta try it. It is snack time. I cannot go to bed without having a snack and it's like 8.15 right now, so it's time. 
So today I'm gonna have one of my fancy berry bowls. It's not actually fancy, it's super easy, but the first thing I'm gonna do is slice up a couple strawberries. Then I'm gonna take a few spoonfuls of this strawberry coconut yogurt. This stuff is so good and it's really low in fat, so I like this to add to my berries. A little goes a long way and makes it super enjoyable and makes it feel like I got to eat something super decadent. And now I'm going to top it with a few spoonfuls of my oil-free granola and I will link all of these recipes in the description box for you guys. Alright guys, I am going to sit on the couch and enjoy this and then I'm probably going to hop in bed and I might read a little bit and then I'm going to go to sleep. But this is seriously so good. <laughs> <laughs> really give it a try and I'll link my oil-free granola recipe in the description box for you guys mm. oh, Seriously, it's so good mm. All right guys, that is it for me today. I am going to wash my face and turn out the light All right, so my final step count for the day was a 14,300 steps, which is a pretty decent Alright guys, I love you and I will see you next time.